Hello ladies and gentlemen, Panzer here, and today we're playing a little bit more Scrap Mechanic. Now, you guys did enjoy the last one, so I decided I'm going to continue this, and you know what, I'm actually going to probably do a series on this, just showing off different things that I've made. Now, somebody did request a tank, uh, specifically a KV-2, uh, but unfortunately tanks are not currently possible yet, not least in the traditional sense. And the prototype that I was going to show off today actually causes the game to run at 10 frames a second. Not saying the current one is any better, because currently it's running at 30 frames a second, so even though this is a 60 FPS video, it's not likely to reach 60 on here at all. Uh, that's just a limitation of the early access. So you might be wondering why I'm staring at these trees right here, and there is actually no reason, because the thing I'm showing off today is over there. Yeah. I've made a mobile crane. Uh, so this is a vehicle that I was playing around with. I wanted to see if it was possible to make an actual crane. Now we don't have proper working uh, lines or cables yet, so this pipe will have to do. Uh, it is a two-seater, and there is multiplayer in this game, so it is possible to actually operate this um, with another person. So that passenger seat there operates the crane, and the driving there, well, um, flies the thing. No, I don't mean that. I, I mean, it, it, it controls the locomotion of the ve vehicle. That's that's the least complicated way I can actually say it. Now, I did have some issues with controllers not setting up correctly when I load in the game, so this could be interesting. So I'm just going to keep the crane away for now. Um, if I can remember the actual controls for this, I believe it was one is to close the claws. Yep, that's right. The working claws there working very nicely. And I believe two, if I switch that on, lifts the crane up. Let's close the claws. And let's lower it down a little bit. And that's not what I meant to do. Alright, let's try that again. That'll work. Almost hit the mechanic on the head there, but you know, we're, we're good. Alright, so every crane needs working supports as well, and that's what these extra wheels are on the back. And they're connected to an electric engine and a controller, so when we flick the switch like so, this actually prevents the vehicle from moving around. See, I can spin the wheels. We are using a petrol engine for this, or a gas engine. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what gas they're referring to, but uh, they call it a gas engine. Uh, and it has... The little electric engine just allows it to scoot forward a little bit because, of course, this vehicle doesn't have particularly fantastic ground clearance at the moment, so going up slopes can be a little bit tricky. It doesn't really like the off-road that all that much, which is a bit of a shame. So what I'm going to do is bring it over to this nice little flat bit of ground near the quarry. It is quite nippy, actually. Um, It's a 10-wheeler. And the front two wheels and the rear two wheels have uh, power to them. So it is actually an eight-wheel drive with eight-wheel steering. So it allows us to rotate on the spot very nicely. Almost pivoting, actually. Which is very, very nice to control. It is a very, very nice to control vehicle. All right, so we're going to mess around with the crane a little bit and see if we can pick up something. So let's lower the supports there. And let's, let's try something out here. So I'm going to put... A little, let's just make a nice little block like so and see if we can do that. Now I have to put it on the lift there so that it actually becomes a separate entity uh, that allows it to be picked up, hopefully. So let's open that up and if we hit 4 now we can actually rotate the crane. It does try to snap to increments though so that might be a little bit of an issue. So I've got a double hinge here on the crane and that just allows us to uh, lower the crane to a usable height. Uh, like so. This just allows us to move the crane around without hitting the actual body of the crane. So let's open those claws up there. Now, I don't know if that's exactly a line there. I can't actually tell. But hopefully it is. Nope, that's not what I meant to do. There is a slight issue, yeah. Um, because it is a solid, not a line, um, we do have a slight issue where we are able to kind of just lift the crane up and tip it over. In fact, <laughs> the vehicle did actually tip over quite badly uh, on its own before. So that's uh, a bit of an issue, but thankfully that's been solved now. 
So if you do want to know how I solve that, please uh, leave uh, your question down in the comments, uh, in the comments, and I will get back to you on exactly how I managed to do that. So, uh... oh, it's just slightly missed there. Ever so slightly missed. Yeah, that's that's definitely missed it there. That's not the that's not a usable angle at all. Unfortunately, there I don't have it set up so it can rotate anti-clockwise. So it's only going to be able to do a single direction of turning at the moment. Let's try to pick that up. Now you see, the, the, there is a slight issue here, and it's threatening to tip itself over. So, not exactly the most useful crane in the world, but it does show that you can at least make vehicles that have separate rotating pieces. So, yeah, not exactly a working crane just yet, unfortunately. So we're going to keep that away, we're going to get rid of this block, and uh, we're going to call it a day. Unless, the crane is actually good for something else. Alright, so... Every vehicle, of course, can have multiple purposes, and then this crane is actually no exception. It has a interesting party piece that hopefully I can demonstrate quite effectively. So I've come out here to the edge of the world, or at least the edge of the current uh, terrain map. There are two options. There is a flat map and one with the terrain on it. And I decided to come out here where it's a little bit flatter just to show off what this thing can actually do. So... Remember that I said that this is an eight-wheel drive vehicle with eight-wheel steering. And because the wheels are very close to the middle, and it's quite well balanced, actually, it, uh, with the ballast at the back there, and the weight of the cabin at the front, it is actually nearly perfect balance, especially with the placement of the wheels being very, very close around the actual centre. The actual centre being somewhere here. Um, this middle bogey of wheels actually is completely freewheeling. It doesn't turn, but it, it's able to freewheel, meaning that the opposite side is able to rotate in the opposite direction, um, which is something that isn't really possible if you put an engine on it. They all seem to have momentum, so that would actually cause it to understeer. But instead, it does something quite interesting. So let's lower the supports here, and let's see what we can do. Zoom it out here so you can get the best possible view. Crane's nicely stowed, and you can see it's nearly perfect with its balance there. And let's go. So, yes, it's fairly fast. Nothing special so far. In fact, we'll get some nice air there. And let's try and turn. So what I've actually accidentally done is make a fantastic drift machine. In fact, this thing, provided we don't go over too many of the dunes, can drift nearly endlessly just doing some nice neat little bouncy donuts right here in fact we could get ourselves on the next fast and the furious doing this we can just keep going endlessly this is with the engines at full power and it does have four engines so the front wheels and uh, on each side, and the rear wheels on each side are actually powered completely separately. And you can just see how smooth it is. And I'm not even a fantastic driver, or at least uh, I guess in some cases I might be considered above average, maybe. But this is actually a so well balanced that it's actually very easy to control. And when I first tested this out, I had a friend of mine jump onto uh, the server with me. And he took it out for the first time and was able to do exactly what I'm doing right here with very little effort whatsoever. And that's even with input lag from being <laughs> um, quite some distance away from me. Because after all it is, I believe, peer-to-peer. -peer. So he was able to do this, which is quite surprising. It's so well balanced and I can just tap the steering just there. You can see the wheels sort of jiggling about a little bit when I do that. And it just keeps going. So, of course, if we ever have a Jim Carner style episode of this, this would probably be the basis for the vehicle that I try to make. Uh, just on a side note, it does actually tip over quite badly sometimes. But thankfully, it's a crane. So, what we can actually do is use the crane for a slightly different purpose.
Yep, it is actually a very useful self-writing mechanism. So there we have it. That that's <laughs> that's that's quite useful actually. So, it, like I said, well balanced, but uh, if you cock it up, it is still something that can kind of save itself. But this is actually a lot of fun. I'm actually having a lot of fun driving this. All right, I'm gonna leave that one there. That's a mobile crane, still kind of a work in progress, I guess, because, yes, the crane part of it doesn't quite work. It can sort of pick up another player, actually, but, um, for a few seconds before the physics decides to glitch out on us, but, uh, this is actually quite a lot of fun to, to drive around in, and, uh, I think I might actually base a few more designs off of this base chassis here. The suspension is actually retracted, so we have a nice reduced ground clearance there, which does actually help with the balance quite nicely too. But there you have it, so uh, that's that mobile crane, and uh, thank you very much for watching. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and leave, leave a like if you enjoy it, so I know to continue the series even more, uh, even though I've already said I've decided I'm going to do that anyway. But if you do have a suggestion on anything you'd like me to make in the next video, do leave it down in the comments, and I will do my best to try and make it for you. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Panzer, and I'll see you next time.